The snake's power is a very strong one, Marinette. Whoever uses it must be wise enough not to be tempted to manipulate time for their own personal gain. The Snake Miraculous, also called the Second Chance, is said to be one of the most powerful Miraculous. The reason for this is that it's one of two Miraculous that messes with time. The other is, of course, the Rabbit Miraculous. They both have unlimited uses unlike other powers that are one-time use powers, at least until the holder grows up, but while the Rabbit Miraculous lets its holder go anywhere in time, the Snake Miraculous is limited to a 5 minutes time frame once it's activated. Within this time range, you can go back in time as many times as you want, but after that, when the head of the snake goes back in place, you'll detransform. And once they have gone back, no one will remember these five minutes but Did them. Did we not make it? No, but I use my power of second chance. In season three episode Desperada, when Jagged Stone fires Vivica over eating his food, she gets acclimatized and turned into Desperada. When Ladybug activates her lucky charm, it grants her a gong. She realizes immediately that this is a sign to go see Master Fu. She chooses the snake miraculous, and after Master Fu warns her of its powers, Marinette is convinced Adrian is the perfect man for the job. And Adrian accepts it because he can't refuse it without exposing he was Cat Noir and because he really wants to impress Ladybug as Adrian. And that was his biggest mistake. And so he became Aspic. This turns into a disaster for Adrian. <laughs> been trying for months. It was the 25,913th time. After Adrian gives up, Ladybug needs to choose someone else to use the Snake Miraculous. This time she gives it to Luca, who turns to Viperion. He watches Desperada closely and after using the second chance five times, he figures out she is distracted by his melody. That gives Ladybug and Cat Noir the distraction they need to break the Akumatize item. In season 3 episode Party Crasher, Adrian's friends decide to throw him a party while his father is supposed to be out of town. Adrian's number one fan finds out about this party and gets angry for not being invited. He is then akumatized into Party Crusher. Party Crusher succeeds where others have failed. He captures Ladybug very easily. Cat Noir would be alone at this point if Master Fu wouldn't have been attending the same party as well. He gives the horse, the turtle and the snake miraculous to their holders, but Hawk Mutt warns Potty Crusher about Viperion, and so he only uses the second chance once before being captured himself. In that episode, Kim would save the day with the Monkey Miraculous by being completely random and unpredictable. In season 3 episode Miracle Queen, Ladybug accidentally leads Hawkmoth to Master Fu's location and he gets captured. The Miracle Box is taken from him and given to Chloe which was akumatized into Miracle Queen. She then exposes all Miraculous holders and turns them into her bodyguards. In this case, Viperion is fighting against Dragonbug and Cat Noir, but he gets focused on trying to prevent Cat Noir from cataclysming his bracelet. He forgets about Dragonbug, who surprises him from behind and take the Miraculous away from him. After that, it was Cat Noir's turn to use the Snake Miraculous. He unifies into Snake Noir and uses the second chance twice before succeeding to de Chloe. In season 4, episode Ephemeral, Adrian is a no show to a fight with the akumatized Bob Roth, who turned into a safe, which complicates a fight that could have been solved easily by his cataclysm. Instead, Luca uses his second chance to try every combination until he opens it and frees the Akuma. Jackpot! 
and it only took me a hundred tries. This angers Grandmaster Suhan, and he demands that Ladybug finds out Cat Noir's true identity in case he goes missing again. Ladybug crafts a plan to have Luca listen in on the conversation and use the second chance so that she herself wouldn't know who he is. But once she finds out that Cat Noir is actually Adrian, she calls off the second chance, and in time, she reveals her true identity to Cat Noir. This leads to a romance between them, but once Gabriel hears Adrian calls Marinette Milady, he realizes his own son was Cat Noir. Gabriel takes Adrian to see his mother's body. He reveals to Adrian that he is Hawk Moth and that getting the ladybug and Cat Noir's Miraculous was the only way to save her. He orders him to hand over the Miraculous, and Adrian tries to refuse but is just unable. In his grief, Adrian allows himself to be akumatized into ephemeral. His powers were to speed time up. They confront Marinette at the movies and she uses her lucky charm. Ephemeral uses his power on her straight away to speed up time until she transforms back. Marinette manages to send a message to Luca before Hawk Moth takes her miraculous from her. After receiving Marinette's message, Luca rushes over to her house to speak to Sass. While Viperin has only five minutes to use the second chance, Sass could go back to any timestamp that was set to him in the past. The end of the world was beginning around them as Sass uses his second chance to go back to the time before Marinette found out that Cat Noir was Adrian. But every time Aquami uses his power without a holder, the results are disastrous. Ladybug and Cat Noir will have to fix this timeline by coordinating all the clocks with the help of the satellite above Paris. Both of them transform into Cosmobug and Astrocat. They fly up to space to save the day. Season 5 episode Intuition is all about the second chance. It starts off with Monarch remembering all the times he tried to use the second chance powers against Ladybug and Cat Noir with no use, and he reveals that whenever he uses the second chance, time stops for everyone else, but it does not stop for him. His cataclysm mark has gotten a lot worse and actually reached his heart, meaning he spent months trying to manipulate time, and now he himself was running out of time. When he finds out that there's a space plane test in Tsurugi Technologies, he uses the second chance to call Tsurugi and trick her into giving him the code for the spaceship system. But she is too smart for him and after a few attempts he gives up and tells her the truth. Since she is in on his plans to get the miraculous, she complies. Hakmat's plan is to divide and conquer. Two catastrophic events will force Ladybug and Cat Noir to split. While Cat Noir will use his cataclysm to stop an asteroid from clashing into Paris, Cosmobug will fly to space to stop the AI system controlling the spaceship from self-destroying with Claudie Kent, the pilot, in it. Hawk Moth akumatized Ada, the AI system, to fight Cosmobug, but things go wrong for him from the start. Cat Noir cataclysm the asteroid easily enough and goes to help Cosmobug, but that's when Monarch starts using the second chance. He goes back in time three times before taking Cat Noir out of the game. But Cosmobug's wits are about her and she gets Cloudy to use the emergency hammer to come out of the spaceship and help her. The damage to the ship causes the AI to deduct that Cloudy was still there. And she turns her anger towards Monarch, but Monarch continues to go back in time again and again, trying to fool the AI system. Reverse mythosis. Is it over? Chinzata, you and I make a wonderful team, Claudie. The end scene of this episode shows how dangerous this power really is, as Ladybug and Cat Noir remains unaware of the day's event. Still, I find it strange that Monarch himself never uses the power of second chance. You mean we're lucky he doesn't, my lady. <laughs>